Shop owners in New York City tonight finding themselves in something of a tough conundrum. Cops asking them to urge customers not to wear COVID masks inside the stores like they've done for three years. If there's a robbery, and there are many these days, surveillance cameras could record the faces. Well, many owners worried they'd face confrontations with customers if they did that. But how else to help fight crime? Here's Alvin News reporter Anthony Carlo. Shop at your own risk, says Norma Jean. They have to try to do something to try to bring the crime down because it's out of control. I don't remember it being this bolded in your face. Yeah. It doesn't get much more bold than this robbery at Diamond Collect in Flushing on February 22nd. Exclusive video showing the suspects casing the joint before ambushing and beating a 79-year-old female employee. Police say they're having trouble identifying suspects who target stores because they're wearing masks, now urging store owners to be proactive in the crime-fighting effort. We're asking the businesses to make this a condition of entry that people, when they come in, they should show their face. Bronx bodega owner Francisco Marte is no stranger to crime. I being myself shot three times. But he says this latest guidance from the NYPD puts business owners in a bad spot. That would be great, yes, everybody come with their face up so the, the camera can see, we all can see, but we can no force them to take off the mask. That, Marte says, will lead to confrontation with customers who still want to mask up because of COVID. I will be like kind of offended because like I feel it's like my own way of like feeling safe. Now Marte tells us he's taking measures into his own hands, planning on upgrading his surveillance system to include facial recognition technology. Now he does anticipate some pushback, but he says this will be a much more effective tool in combating crime. But some shoppers say the NYPD's new guidance makes sense. People come inside the store and you can't see anything but their eyes. Hoping businesses will abide and criminals will be deterred. It's time for us to be safe, feel at least safe again.